Coming up on this episode, a look at some of my recent thrifting and auction finds. <music> Hello, everybody. Welcome once again to M Cubed. I am Brian, the Motley Mix Merchant. Thank you very much for dropping by. Welcome to November. I can't believe it's November already, and I still can't believe I'm not working at my casino job still. But it's going to be a little while longer by the looks of things, so I'm just going to keep on working hard at the eBay reselling. So, how is everybody's October? I'll get into some of the what's sold in a future episode, but just to let you know some of my numbers very quickly. 41 sales was the final total for November. Picked up a little bit in the second half after a little bit of concern in the first half because things weren't so great to start off the fourth quarter. But 41 sales, that's pretty good for me. 1.33 sales per day. Um, I'm very happy. Good average sales price on a lot of the items too. So it was a good month, really good month. And it's already started off well in November. It's the second as I'm taping this and I've already sold three things in the first two days of November. So starting off well, and I'm uh, very happy with the way things are going and very happy with the items that I've been finding to resell. And that's what we're going to go have a look at today. Just a few of them, just to show you the kinds of things I'm still picking up, sticking with my ceramics and my glass and my other stuff, which we'll get to at the end. But let's start it off right away. Let's get right into it because this is the kind of thing that you could be looking for in your thrift stores or in your online auctions to pick up and resell if you're into this model of reselling, which is picking up vintage and or collectible items and turning them around for a little bit of profit. So here we go. This I thought was very nice. I got this in, got this in a thrift store. I did. It is a beautiful white, uh, obviously white, glare white, mid-century modern style by the design with the round designs, with the square insert on the top. That's very MCM, probably 70s, 80s. Made in Portugal by a company called Barate. And um, they've got some popular stuff out there. Really interesting design. I loved it. Got this for $3, $4, maybe $4 at the thrift store. Right now it's listed on the eBay store for $20 US. Doesn't go for great money, the Barate stuff from Portugal, but it's still $15 to $18 profit and that's what i'm looking for 15 to 18 to 20 dollars profit per item now i've upped it if you remember if you've been a follower for a while i started off with wanting a 10 dollars profit per item now i definitely want to try and get 15 to 20 dollars per item it's just just the way the model goes and it's easier to make more money that way it makes sense doesn't it okay if you're a an american watcher or subscriber you know all about Starbucks, but you may not know about a company called Tim Hortons. Tim Hortons is Canada's answer to Starbucks. It is a staple here in this country. There is one every other block in most major cities. Sometimes there's one on one corner and another one on another corner in the big, big cities. Um, but it's a coffee shop, donut shop, same kind of thing as Starbucks, and it's very famous here. It's spreading though. There are Tim Hortons in the United States, especially in the Northern United States along the border with Canada. But I found this interesting. I've been selling a lot of these. This is a Tim Hortons mug, branded mug. But this one, as I hold it up a little closer, as you can see, is branded that it is roasted in Rochester, New York. Now that's rare because most of the Tim Hortons stuff is all about Canada. This exact mug which I picked up for $2 at the local Goodwill, recently sold on eBay for $35 US because of the reference to Rochester, New York. And it's also a raised design on the front there. It's a gorgeous mug, but Tim Hortons mugs are collectible. They are actually even numbered. Every year they put out a certain number and they are numbered on the bottom, as you can see, brief, barely from the uh, fuzziness of it. It's not focusing because there's too much in the background. But Tim Hortons mugs are collectible and I've been getting a bunch of them and they're only $2 still at the Goodwill. So I'll turn them around for $20 any day when I'm paying $2 for them. That's an easy 18 to $20 Canadian profit on every single mug that I sell. And I've sold a bunch in the last year and I sold a few in the last month too. So I thought that was a great pickup because of the Rochester, New York reference to it. And uh, we'll see how it goes. It's not listed yet. Just took the pictures this morning. I'm going to be listing that this afternoon. All right. 
This was cute. Is cute the word of the day? I think cute is the word of the day. Anybody recognize one of those? That is, of course, Corningware. You can see right there. Corningware six cup teapot with the spice of life design on the side. Now, interesting. I got this for $3 at the Goodwill. They resell for about, I think it's $16 to $20. I think it's listed for $16.99 right now. But I got two of them. Now, this is the American-made one, made in the USA. I also picked up one that was made in Canada. Exact same design, same size, everything. The one that was made in Canada has been recalled, and eBay won't let me list it. So I've got myself a teacup, a teapot that I can't sell on eBay. I will probably try and sell it in another forum very, very soon. But uh, I thought it was interesting. I listed the American one first, no problem at all. Listed it. It's up there on the eBay store. And I went and listed the Canadian one right after on Sell Similar. And because I changed the model number to the Canadian model number, I can't sell it because it has been recalled somewhere along the way since it was made in the late 70s, early 80s. So, oh well. You live and you learn. And uh, I know now that to avoid maybe the Corningware teapots that were made in Canada. Okay, i got to show you this one. I got this in one of my online auctions at the local auction house, my auction house, which, by the way, I am working again at the auction house. Things have picked up for them, and I'm getting bored out of my skull here at home not doing anything. So when they put the word out they were looking for bodies again, I have decided to go back to work, and I am working a couple days a week at the auction house helping them with their listings because they've got a lot of stuff going through again. So it's great. But I picked this up at auction last week. Look at the size of this beautiful Asian themed bowl. I mean, it is big. It is 12 inches plus across. Got the beautiful sun on the inside. There is a picture of uh, the moon here on the side somewhere. There it is. So it's got the sun and the moon. It does have a sticker on the bottom. They're selling a bunch of this stuff that has this sticker on the bottom. Have not been able to find out what company that is from. There's probably an importer, is my guess. The stickers would be from the importer. And there's no actual maker's marks on the bottom of this, but it's gorgeous. I got this for three bucks in the online auction. And I figured if no one was going to bid against me, I was going to take it up to five just to try and get it. I could probably, I'm probably going to be selling this. Again, hasn't been listed yet. This is one of today or tomorrow's listing jobs. It's got a tiny, not tiny little chip on one of the edges. But I'm thinking that's going to be a $25 bowl, at least, because of the design and how big it is. Gorgeous, gorgeous, great big bowl. So I'm going to try $25 with best offer, and we'll see what happens. But 3 bucks is what that cost me, Canadian, at one of the online auctions. All right. If you saw the thumbnail, you saw this guy. Mr. Peanut. It is a ceramic jar it did hold peanuts at one time you could probably put cookies or any other kind of snack in here that you wanted to the lid has a rubber ring around it so it will keep things fairly fresh inside and it is in gorgeous shape look at that it's nice and clean on the inside original sticker on the bottom original sticker on the top which does add a little bit of value just a little bit a few dollars but I paid up a little bit for Mr. Peanut, paid $6 Canadian at the uh, Goodwill. It was another Goodwill find. He is listed right now for $34.99 in the store. It is a hard to find collectible. There aren't a lot of them. There's a few of them, less than 10 listed and less than five sold in the last 90 days. But I mean, he's, doesn't he look great? That is a great, great piece for a collector interested in that kind of advertising stuff. Um, so that was my best find probably of the week at the Goodwill, the Mr. Peanut canister. And uh, we'll see how he does. I, 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 I liked, I saw him on the shelf and I was like, wow. And I did have to pay up for him as I said, but it's worth it. I think it's worth it. It's gonna be $25 profit, 20 to $25 profit once it does sell. All right, going to wrap things up. Fairly short one today. Just a quick one to show you the kind of things I'm buying. With 
a couple of my usuals, but I wanted to show you specific examples of what I've been picking up and, and why I've been picking them up. First of all is this guy. This is called a Squishmallow. Squishmallow. Still very popular. They were big, big apparently about a year and a half ago. It's one of those things like like the squeezy things that came and went. Well, this hasn't, this hasn't gone yet. Squishmallows are still popular. This is a good 10 inch one. Got this one for $3 at the local Goodwill. It is right now on the sale. This one in particular goes for about $16 to $20. So I think I've got them for $16.99 on the eBay store. So it'll still be a good $15 Canadian profit. But Squishmallows is the brand. Let's see if I can get the tag. There you go. Squishmallows is the brand. And there's tons of them out there. And the sell-through rate is amazing. Um, when you're doing your research, it's always important to see how popular things are. So you look at how many are listed versus how many are sold. Well, I'm using general numbers here to give you percentage-wise. If there is a thousand of these listed on eBay, over 800 of them have sold in the last 90 days. So that's an 80% sell-through rate in 90 days. So there's a good chance that this is going to sell in the next 90 days or less because that's how popular they are still. So check out the sold items versus the listed items and figure out the percentage. If it's 250 versus 1,000, that's a 25% sell-through rate. Not the greatest. I mean, things are still selling, but it's going to take four, as much as four times the 90-day cycle for those 1,000 items to sell. So the higher the percentage, the more likely it is that you're going to get a fairly quick sale on the item. So this is a Squishmallow. I've got two smaller ones and I've got this big one, which I saw on the shelf at the Goodwill for $3, yeah, $3 uh, about a week ago. So he's already up in the store. And last but not least, I got to show you this one. I have to back up for this one. Everybody knows who this is. <laughs> Look at the size of this Shrek plush. He is 25 inches tall. I won't show you all of them now. I'll just show them like this. There we go. Hi, Shrek. 25 inches tall. Super, super clean condition. From Shrek 2, the movie. This one was released for Shrek 2. Uh, good, good idea to make sure you know the reference of when they came out. Uh, so he came out for Shrek 2. But because he is so big and there's not a lot of them listed on eBay... I paid up for him too. I paid $8 for Shrek, but that's after I did the comp lookup. Because of the size and because of the, I mean, especially the condition that he's in, per, super, super clean, he is listed right now for $35 US on the eBay store, which is, and if you know me, if you follow me at all, you know, I don't make numbers up out of the top of my head. I comp everything, every single thing. I check the comps, I list close to average of the most recent 10 sales or so. So he's up there for $35. I think he's going to go fairly quickly at this time of year. Um, people still enjoy Shrek. Kids still like Shrek. Um, somebody who's got a buddy that they nickname Shrek might want to get him that for Christmas. You never know. But it's it's it was another good plush find. And you know what, I'm, I'm, I'm going to hang on on the plushes now for a little bit because my shelves are getting fairly full <laughs> and there's not much more room for especially plushes as big as Shrek is. Uh, so I'm going to be um, focusing on the ceramics and the glass for a little bit. And it's still going well, as I say. 41 sales in October. That was good. Good start to November. And that's all I wanted to do today. Just give you a quick overview of the kind of things that I'm still buying at uh, thrift stores and at auctions and to say hi because it's been a week so i hope everybody is doing well with their thrifting and with the reselling if you got anything out of this video at all please hit the like button down below because when you hit that like button it tells youtube that people are watching and then it recommends this video to other people who are looking for this kind of content and of course as always i invite you to subscribe down below if you would like to follow along on all of my Canadian eBay reseller antics and then hit the bell to be notified every time a new episode is uploaded. I appreciate all of my now over 210 followers or so. 
starting to grow a little quicker. And I'm very pleased and very humbled and happy to see everybody and welcome to all of our new subscribers and all of my old subscribers. Thank you. Thank you so much for staying with me. It's been a year and a half now. I can't believe I've been doing this a year and a half since I did my first video. Almost up to 100 videos too. I think I'm at 80 something as of today. Anyhow, that's my story. I'm sticking to it. Have fun out there, folks, with your thrifting. All the best to my American followers and watchers this week. It's going to be a very interesting week here in North America. And I just want to say, stay well. Wear your masks when you go out thrifting. It's the least we can do because I want to see you again right here for another episode of M Cubed. Bye for now, everybody. Cheers. Oh, 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 oh,